Well, good morning and namaskar to everyone. Um, Mr. Jairam Ramesh, Mr. Ayer, uh, my friend Ravi Agrawal, who I don't see as often as I should, and of course our old colleague, uh, Mr. Manoj Mishra, many people who I know personally who are sitting here. <coughs> um, I, uh, uh, I welcome all of you uh, to this, uh, this get-together and this, um, uh, you know, th this particular momentum for which we have planned this four-day uh, uh, seminar has, been, has taken quite a lot uh, of time. Many court people have coordinated. There's a lot of activity that's been happening in the last month or so. Uh, I also have uh, a tremendous amount of support and uh, um, you know, assistance from uh, you know, Manoj, who has actually been leading a number of these initiatives bring us together. I hope that uh, at this, this is something that is very, this issue about rivers in India is a very important one. Once I remember some years back, a uh, sen senior parliamentary leader, he called uh, three or four of us together and uh, we had a two hour meeting with him. And he said that, look, uh, a government has come into, a new government has come into power. What is the main issue that you'd like us to take up with regard to the environment? And we said, uh, I think it was more or less unanimous, all of us said that looking at everything and seeing the overall health of the nation, there are many issues that we need primacy, but water, rivers particularly, the condition of our rivers need a lot of uh, support and help of the government. And. Uh, I must say that uh, the, um, um, the, the, uh, my organization, uh, together with several partners uh, across India, not just rivers, but uh, the tributaries, not just the main branches, but also where we work with the tributaries. We work in India with about 200 partners. I think out of the 200 partners, serious partners, out of which I think about uh, more than half would be those who would be working on rivers. And on those issues, I don't need to go into issues of forest and wildlife that are connected with it. I think globally we see another kind of a situation, the stress that we see on river systems globally and also that uh, distillates into India, is that um, due to uh, degradation and the effect thereof, the WWF's Living Planet Report of 2014, this is actually a report that comes up once in two years. It showed a 76% decline in freshwater biodiversity across the globe. And this has been looking, this is an indice that's been looked at from 1970. And this decline, uh, which is the 76% de uh, decline in freshwater biodiversity, is higher than either marine or terrestrial ecosystems that we have seen. So obviously, I mean, this is no, uh, if, if one is deteriorating, of course, the freshwater would be the highest. But the, this kind of decline is something that uh, I think the earth cannot take on um, uh, with, the, with, the, with the amount of consumption and the kind of patterns that are there on consumption. But at the same time, we can't solve all the problems of the world, but at least we can try to do something for our own country. And I think here India has to take a lot of leadership. We have, uh, we have plans, we have uh, uh, agencies, we have people. I think we need to bring all these, uh, you know, the, the soldiers and all these issues together to be able to do some, uh, you know, really effective work. I, I think uh, when some of us uh, went and talked to other states in India, I mean, the, what I mentioned, working in other parts of India, Uttar Pradesh, uh, Assam, and one particular initiative that uh, we took to make some kind of a plan for the rivers in Kerala. And uh, the way the, uh, the response of people from there and the kind of things that we saw and we, I mean, is, is really an issue that cannot be anymore subjected to one large river or one, uh, you know, basin system. Out of, uh, out of all the places that we work, I'm not sure whether we have, uh, apart from two or three rivers that run 
in peninsular India. That means they're not out of the Himalayas directly. Uh, barring that, we have found properties relating to heavy metal, uh, a different, a deeper values of pollution, and issues that we never faced before uh, in some places. And I think we know enough about the Jamna and the properties uh, of the Jamna at this point of time. But we were surprised by the kind of results that are coming out in other rivers that we expected this would not happen. And these are the rivers that finally irrigate our crops. And these are the crops that finally feed us. Uh, and this is from where the vegetables and the grain comes from. And if you think back the thousands of years behind us, uh, the, the, quality of, uh, the quality of the Indian stock was direct correlation to the food that was being produced. And the round grain, the f grain that is difficult to produce, was also done through very intricate and very uh, uh, complicated irrigation systems in our country. All this was possible. Ours is a tree which, on which grows amongst the largest number of people uh, on earth. And there is one, one reason for this. That is the availability of arable land irrigated by uh, good water. And if this is something that we will find challenging in the future, and I hope that at the end of these four days, maybe you can come across with certain amounts of action, uh, with the kind of things that we have seen amongst us, uh, and perhaps we can at least make more than uh, you know, just a pilot or that uh, sort of a project, we should really take this ahead. And Jairam Ramesh ji had, uh, while he was the uh, former unit minister and member of parliament, when he was, when he was looking at this particular subject of ours, uh, he was instrumental in declaring the Ganga, um, um, you know, in, 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 in declaring the, the Gangetic dolphin as the national aquatic animal. And I think for us, an organization like WWF, these things are very clear. There are, um, uh, there are um, uh, flagship species relating to a particular ecosystem. And for us, the Gangetic dolphin certainly uh, made a, you know, was a key on which we had worked on for over 12 years. And there are many here who know about uh, uh, and have worked on, on this particular subject. And this is something that, in a way, unites both uh, uh, the, the basin of the Ganga, the Meghna in uh, Bangladesh, and, and Brahmaputra in Assam. And we do find the, uh, the, this uh, fish, uh, this mammal, in several other parts of uh, our river. You know, the, it's occasionally found in Orissa. And of course, uh, the tributaries that come through the Chambal and uh, parts of the Cane. But, uh, I think as we enter into a time when we'll do the second census of this particular uh, dolphin, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll get some indications between the make, major changes that have happened and taken place in the last four years since this kind of a intricate system has been evolved to count it. Um, in a particular portion of the Uttar Pradesh part of uh, the Ganga, we had done a census with the Uttar Pradesh government and come across a count of 661 of these uh, uh, dolphins. Um, but this is an indicator. And in some of those stretches that we have now seen and monitored, uh, we don't see the, see the dolphin there uh, to that extent. And similarly, there are places where it's the other way around. We see more dolphins in some Maybe by this, we'd be able to find certain things which will uh, assist us or help us in the way we go forward. I welcome all of you here. Our doors are open. I welcome all of you here. This is something very important for India. It's very important for Hindustan. We've got to get this thing done. And even when the uh, teams uh, break up and we have at the end of four days when people go back and there are results and assessments that have taken place to go forward, I think we need to uh, continue this work and maybe come back and really assess what we have done within a pretty short period of time. Thank you. Thank you for all this. Thank you for organizing it. And so, uh, Ramaswamy Ayer Sahib, you have always given us a tremendous amount of knowledge and guidance. We are grateful to you. We appreciate your work. We appreciate your leadership. And once or twice, I remember, we uh, actually uh, uh, requested you to uh, evolve a certain methodology for assessments. 
and you withheld your judgment because you felt that the entire process was not entirely right. This kind of judgment and this kind of guidance we need. Mm. And <clears throat> to all the partners and to all the people who have helped us, Manoj Mishra, Himanshu Thakkar, Ravi Agarwal, Manu Bhatnagar, and the team from WWF India, thank you for doing this. Thank you very much.